Hey everybody, it's Barbara, and we are once again looking at Integrity Toys' industry. And as promised, it is, da 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 da, as you will see, Tallulah Bell. Now, Tallulah Bell is the star of this line, and she has a very interesting pedigree. We know that she is the granddaughter of Poppy Parker. We don't know who her parents or her grandfather is yet, though suspicion is already building about that. Uh, what we do have is a very lovely young lady uh, with a nice box of accessories, um, some interesting tights, and a really groovy ensemble, which we're going to talk about in a minute after I debox her. But before I do that, I do want to show you very quickly um, when I pulled the cover off, this automatically came off with it. Once again, we have a movie length poster of Tallulah Bell. As I said when I did the Cabot review, it's like a TV promo shoot. So we have this one for Tallulah Bell. And I think if you get them all and you line them up, it would look like a really interesting Subway ad. But we're not here to talk about Subway ads. We're here to talk about dolls, and we are going to do that right now. So here we have the lovely Miss Tallulah Bell, and you can see that she is on point, on fire. First of all, I don't think I have seen hair like this ever from Integrity Toys. This is all day, all night curls. I mean, this is this is serious. God does not love me. I am having a really bad day with the humidity hair. It is it is beyond fully rooted. It is I mean, if somebody straightened this out, it would it would be nuts. This is this is her hair. Okay. So here you go, just for that alone, get the doll. But there is some very nice detailing in the front. If you look on top, her hair has got some nice braiding in the front. Which is nice. And since we're up here and so closely, let's take a look at her very nice green eyes fully rooted lashes, a complement of very like a seafoam gray on the lower lid, brown at the upper lid, slightest, slightest touch of coral rouge, ro ro uh, blush, rogue, rouge, rouge, blush. But then look, real lipstick, an actual shade of pink lipstick. And it doesn't clash because the rest of the outfit is variations of black and silver on top. And we'll get to the stockings in a second. Let's stay detailed in here. Take a look at the necklace, which is two-toned silver and black. Uh, very much a statement piece. Her earrings, if I can just go up for a second and turn her one way. Uh, the black onyx design that we've seen variations of in a couple of other ensembles lately. Taking it down again very slowly. The jacket is partially lined right up against the zipper. It's not, but once you go toward the back, it is black silk or satin lining. Putting this down. I'm just going to very quickly take a look at the skirt and go ahead and say that the dre the the skirt is also lined. Uh, it's an it's a one piece dress and it is lined. It's not just the skirt; the whole dress is lined. I'm trying to keep this up because I want to save the discussion of the stockings for a second from now. Also, notice she's wearing again another statement piece. Oops. A oops. This is a black, much, much larger black onyx and silver bangle. 
you will need to take the hand off to put it on. But that wasn't tricky. Turning her to the back, as I said, the hair is quite lovely. Gently. I'm not going to take the jacket off, but I'm just going to lift this up to show you that the back is not a zip back, but hook and eye closure. And now I'm going to spend some time talking about the lower part of her for a couple of reasons. The first one, which has gotten my attention all along, is the stockings. Uh, she has a very nice... I'm not going to... If they're gray, it's like gray that had sex with brown. Or they're outright brown, like a coffee brown with milk in it. So it's a very... But if you notice, it's, it's a combination of fishnets going vertically but going horizontally are these darker brown bands so it's going to be very interesting how these hold up they they definitely have a pattern to them the other thing that i noticed and i'm not sure if this is going to be peculiar to the Tallulah body or if this is just something that happened I'm going to go ahead and hold the doll up so you can take a look at the feet. And if you, I don't know if you can tell, and I don't know if it, and it's not an exaggeration of the stockings, but there is a bump over the top of the foot that is usually not there in these dolls. I, I've never seen this before. It's an interesting, it's a different kind of feel. It's a different kind of positioning. Um, I mean, the arch in the back of the foot is not exaggerated. It's a typical arch at the back of the foot for heels. But really, the front of the foot looks, to my eye, very different than any doll that I've seen before. There's definitely more right here, where my, if you can see where my finger is, right there. There's more meat to it, or at least what would be meat if it was an actual doll. So let's step to Lula back. Uh, let's bring her back up to slowly pan back up to her face. And I'm going to put her hands out now like this. As if she was reaching out to you, which she is. The uh, reason I'm doing that is because this has only come with one set of hands, which I think is a little strange. Because she comes with a lot of accessories that she can potentially hold. Por ejemplo which is Spanish for, for example, the doll face purse, uh, which is a clutch that I think you're supposed to be able to put her smartphone in. Hold that thought. But I just want to show you that this doll face purse um, has a couple of bangles. It has the zipper bangle, but it also has this nice diamante bangle. as well as the strap that you can fit over her hand very easily, as I'm will, as i about to do. And it will simply either stay like that, which I'll leave it like that for right now, or you can put it all the way through to her wrist. Note, though, that the doll face is only on one side. The other side is a plain white. The next item... Is a smartphone with the various accoutrements and apps. There appears to be what to my eye, but we all know about my eyes, what appears to be at the very lower right uh, right hand corner the iTunes music app. So maybe this is an iPhone, but they can't say it because you know why should they pay for the licensing? And like any good big city girl who knows better than to spend way too much money on Starbucks, you have this wonderfully New York style deli cup, like the old Greek deli style. And because she works entirely too hard at her job, the cup is empty. I want to say this about it. 
you've heard me mention in the Cabot review with the makeup boxes that Remint made a set and Remint's was slightly smaller. Remint does coffee cups all the time and they are a much thinner, less weighty plastic. This almost feels like a ceramic cup. It's much heavier. I would not advise dropping it because you might actually break it. Um, and if you will notice too, on the edges, there are little, what I originally thought were straws, but they're not. I think it's meant to put the lid on and hold the lid in place. And they, sh and they do match up. So you want to be very careful about that. So maybe this is like the imitation cup, but it's actually reusable because she's earth friendly. Okay. And yes, of course, Tallulah does have shoes, which I did not put on, but they are lovely. They are boots with the, what I've come to call the double heel at the front. Not a terribly huge heel in the back. I've seen higher lately. And of course there are two of them. Buckles and all. Very nicely done. Shoes are never a problem for integrity. I'm just leaving them off because I did want to show you uh, the detailing with her feet. So all in all, I'm going to tell you that you definitely want to get this doll for uh, two reasons. The first is it's Tallulah in the 12 inch where she has previously been 16 inches. And the second reason is, uh, you know, this is, this is maybe a bigger hint toward how she's related to Poppy. So this is definitely a really, really nice doll to get. The accessories are very nice. Uh, the jewelry, the necklace, I like better than the bracelet. The accessories are awesome, especially the coffee cup. I would definitely get this doll if you can get her. Um, I have a feeling there'll be other incarnations of Tallulah Bell coming soon. Um, I want to see the new Poppy line coming, uh, which is coming pretty quickly. And when I see the new Poppy line, I think I'm going to put Tallulah up next to her up next to Grammy just to see uh, who's who. But you know what? Why wait? Let's uh, let's real fast grab a Poppy and see where the girls are related. So as I was saying, why wait? We have Tallulah, who is always a must get. And of course she's related to her grandmother, Poppy Parker. So let's go ahead um, in this final segment and take a look at the two of them together. And I apologize because Poppy suddenly has got a little dust on her, but I just grabbed that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a close look at them. Um, Poppy's eyes, I'm sorry, Tallulah's eyes, to Poppy's eyes. Obviously, Poppy has a little more detailing on her eyes that give it a little more definition, but they seem to arch their brow the same way. And I'd say they share the same eyes. the brow of the nose the bridge of the nose I should say appears to be also the same though I'm not gonna crank out a ruler but I'm just gonna go off the cuff and say by enough of a definition Tallulah's face is a little narrower than this incarnation of Poppy I'm going to put Poppy, Poppy obviously also has flat feet. Um, and even if I was, even if I was to boost her, which I'm doing right now, you can see that Poppy's also just a smidgen as it should be shorter than her granddaughter. Yeah. 
Now, Poppy's mouth also happens to be open a little bit more than Tallulah's, but I think that's just a matter of style. Um, I'm not going to take the dress off to see if there's definition at the neck. But all in all, you can definitely see that these two are related to each other. So, again, yeah, kind of, I like it. They're kind of looking at each other like, wee! Now, who would be in the middle? Where's Mommy? I have a feeling that these and other exciting questions we will get to soon. Uh, but in the meantime, as I was saying, even with Poppy, I've never seen this much hair. Yeah, I know. I'm obsessed with hair. Well, I'm obsessed with my own hair, so there you go. Um, definitely get her. Definitely get Tallulah. Uh, especially if there are coming hints, which I think there might be, if not in the industry, then in the newer line that's also coming with the modeling agency that's tied to Victory Rue. Victory Rue, excuse me. So I would definitely be keeping an eye on the storylines coming up because I think we're finally going to be able to start to tie these together. Until then, I'm Barbara. And for Tallulah and Poppy and their mystery generation in between, I will see you next time with a completely different review. It's going to be Mattel. And let's just say I think it's one you might flip for. Good night, everybody.